Hi there, this is Sam Hammond, Director of Operations here at BDS, and in today's video we're going to be discussing another extremely common printing fault or printing error that we see quite frequently in our service department. The hope is that this video will be able to provide you with a solution on how to fix this common printing problem. The printing issue that we're going to be discussing today is how to reconnect a locally connected TCP IP printer after a networking change. Let me explain that. It's extremely common in today's environment that networking information can change on a somewhat frequent basis. What this means is that the networking information throughout your network can change to a different IP scheme, you can get a new internet service provider, um, you know, there's a, you can get a new firewall, there's a variety of different, th different things that can cause this. The issue with printing is that when a print driver is locally installed on a workstation, the vast majority of the time, if it's been installed correctly, it will be using something called the TCP IP address to define where that print object, print object sits on your network. If that information changes for whatever reason, we run into a problem where the local print driver on your computer is not able to find the local um, is not able to find the local printer on the network. So when you send a print job to that printer, the information that sort of tells your computer where the printer is located is no longer the same. Um, and that can cause the printer to show up as offline um, or your print job can just sort of disappear into the ether. In today's video we're going to address the most common way to resolve this. Before we begin, um, two notes. The first is that this is going to be on a Windows 10 system. Um, the process is the same on a Windows 11 system. However, the aesthetics of the Windows 11 interface are a little bit different, so we're going to be doing a separate video for the Windows 11 side of this. The second note is that you're going to want to get the most up-to-date IP address of your copier or printer. In order to find this, we have a whole slew of videos on how to find the IP address of different makes and manufacturers in our video series. Otherwise, um, you should be able to quite easily find this on your printer uh, by going to, say, for example, device information or networking information. Um, the IP address will, generally speaking, just as a quick primer here, the IP address will, generally speaking, be always formatted as, um, you know, number dot number dot number dot number, um, generally speaking, always. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, typically, it's very easy to determine the trigger. Um, for this particular fault. If your networking team worked on your networking over the weekend or if you got a new internet service provider, this can cause that. So the first thing we have to do is we have to identify um, or we have to get into the ports page of the print driver itself. In order to do this, we want to go to devices and printers within our control panel. So the easiest way to get to control panel is to either hit the Windows button on your keyboard or select the type here to search bar in the lower left hand corner of your screen. You're going to type control panel and then head to the control panel. Go to view devices and printers. Depending on how your uh, control panel is oriented, um, you might have this layout as well. Just go to devices and printers here and it brings you to the same place. Once you're here, you want to find the printer in question. As you can see, my printer, my demo printer here, is offline. I can tell because um, in the status menu down below, it says offline. Um, what I want to do is I want to right click on my offline print object and I want to go to printer properties. Now, this, is, this can be a little tricky the first time you do this. There's printing preferences, printer properties, and then properties. We want to go explicitly to printer properties. Once in this window, um, we're going to want to land on the ports tab. It's worth mentioning, though, that if your system is locked down, um, as in you're not a local admin on the system, you may not be able to proceed from here. And if that is the case, you're going to want to reach out to your IT administrator um, to see if they're willing to resolve this challenge for you. Um, you'll know because if you were to go to another tab, all of this would be grayed out and you wouldn't be able to actually select anything on the window itself. And there might be a um, change properties button right here with the classic yellow and blue Windows Administrator Shield. Um, but I'm a local admin on the system, so uh, I'm going to proceed forward from here. We want to go to the Ports tab. Generally speaking, the port that your printer um, prints to is really, think of it as a door, right? Port, portal, 
door. It's a door that the print job has to walk through in order to get to the physical printer, right? So we here have our port defined as a TCP IP port, and we know that because it's listed as a TCP IP address right here, in this case 10.2.10.6. Um, for this pr specific printer, however, the IP address that it has differs from the name of the port, and that's common. So before we can configure the port and make any changes, what we have to do is we have to make sure there are no print jobs living in the print queue, right? So when we hit you know, control P the first couple times after it goes offline, the print jobs can sit in the print queue. And what they do is they lock it up so you can't make changes. And that's designed so you can't, you know, for example, delete print jobs um, by just making a simple settings change. So the way that we do that is we go to OK, and then we go to we make sure our print object is highlighted, and we go see what's printing. I've got a print job here, this notepad file. I'm going to right-click it and cancel it. And then what I'll do from here, um, I'll close out of this, and I'll go back to that printer properties and then go to the ports tab, and then I want to hit configure port. In here, I'm going to have two numbers or two fields. The first is the port name. This is an immutable or unchangeable characteristic. It's defined when you create the port itself. Um, for our purposes today, we're going to ignore this. This could be anything. This could be any name or any number or series of numbers that we wanted it to be. The second field is the one that is important to us. This printer name or IP address is how the printer knows where to point print jobs to on the network. So what we have to do here is we have to, um, we're going to change this to the correct IP address of the printer that we figured out earlier in the video series, right? So in this case, it is 10.2.10.6. I'll hit this and I'll select OK. This will confirm that um, and then I will hit close. And what you will see is within the next minute or so, it can take a second or two to come back online, um, which it just did. So it's recognizing that the printer, hey, is live now. Um, and now I should be able to send a print page, uh, a printer test page over to it and it should come out without any issues. Um, and there's my printer panel indicating that the job is coming and that my printer is asleep. So just to quickly recap, this is a very common printing fault we see. When there's a networking change, a locally installed TCP IP printer can break. Um, and instead of having to go through the rigmarole or process of reinstalling a print driver, what you can do instead is you can actually just, um, you can actually just change the IP address of the print driver in question via the ports tab, and that will fix that up. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, Director of Operations here at BDS. Uh, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you have any further questions, you can always reach out to us uh, or your service provider. And as always, uh, feel free to leave a comment below, um, and we'll answer that as soon as we can. So thank you, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.